What up people, it's the Scandinavian Monkey and I might be getting a cold. Cross my fingers, hope to die I'm not, but my throat is feeling quite funny. So if my voice sounds strange, that's why. I think it's okay though, it's just a, I feel scratchy. It is now end of week four of Inktober. I have slowly, slowly, slowly gone downhill. It just, eh. <laughs> I'm still planning on finishing everything and uh, it's gonna be a week or two into November before I'm done, but I will be done. So I'm gonna show you what I've done this week. I decided to focus more on inking rather than coloring, so a few of these pieces that are supposed to be colored aren't yet. Um, I haven't even sorted these in the right order. Oh, and they're kind of backwards too, because um, okay. this is actually day 16. As I said, I've fallen behind on the style pieces because I'm getting bored of them, so it's taken me a while to get to finishing them, but this is Tsubasa in punk style, and uh, I think I talked about it enough in the video um, on Monday. I did a video on this on Monday, so I don't think I need to talk too much about it. It's just, it's another style piece. And then here are how I've compromised with myself to finish these. I only have to do the ink, because after all, it's Inktober. So ink now and then focus on colors later. So we have Mayra and Kazu. Mayra is day 18 and Kazu is day 23. Um, Mayra, I was going between like sexy and artsy clothing for her. In the end I went with a very artsy outfit. And then for Kazu it's going to be goth fashion. Um, I apologize, that's my phone. Um, but yeah, so that is what I have going on for those two. Uh, what else, what else, what else? Then we have these two tiny ones here. There you go. It is day 26 and 27. And this one is finished because I was really enjoying the process and they always look so pretty when they're done. And this one is technically also finished because it wasn't supposed to be colored. So this is Nova from Falling Stars. I could probably lift it up and show you properly. Uh, I only have one portrait left to do now. That's Neela. That's Neela. There we go. Proper, proper talking helps. Um, but yeah, he looks a little bit childish here, but um, I'm okay with it because I feel like Nova has a childish personality of sorts. So he looks a little bit younger than the other characters, but I'm okay with that. And then this is what the Jupiter piece looks like. I'm a little bit iffy on the lightning because it is so hard to get that glowy effect with just watercolor. But I like the way it turned out, and I really like this. I think it's called Sea Foam Green, the color. No, Sea Dream, is it? No, oh, it's Paradise, never mind. I am mixing up my colors, but yeah. I just really liked how that one worked as a background. Yeah, and as you saw by my Thursday update, I have a lot of my stuff pre-sketched. So today I'm going to do <laughs> day 22 and hopefully day 28 as well as it is the it, as it is day 28 today. The uh, thing is I have to sketch it first because that is something I haven't done. Kind of crept up on me. Uh, this is the last style piece and it's going to be Sigma and I really hope I can get it done. Uh, I think I might have to change her pose because the original pose, like the, the paper is too small. She's a tall character and as you've seen by all of these uh, they have this these sort of hovering poses and um, I really want to give her a hovering pose too and the one I have she's kind of stretched out and uh, I don't think it'll fit nicely onto the page without making her super tiny so I'm probably going to do something else with that but yeah this is Mercury the last Sailor Moon piece of so this one I'm probably finishing because it's like it's the last one so I really want to get that done and then the whole Sailor Moon series will be done so uh, that's really exciting uh, and I'm rambling because <laughs> I don't want to draw today I just want to watch anime and doodle in my sketchbook I actually want to show you that I I went on an old anime binge and ended up watching um, Nanma 
and uh, that was one of the first really long anime series I watched. I think besides Naruto and Bleach, because I started watching anime in like 2003, 2004, so uh, Lama was probably one of the first ones I watched fully. And um, I love it so much. It's like, it's dumb. It's dumb and super cute. And I just love it. So I went and did a couple of, or I'm going to do a couple of spreads, but I started this spread here and I love it so much. I'm, I'm a little bit in between on if I should ink more drawings because I've only done these three so far. But then again, I like the sketches and stuff, so I don't know. Uh, so I've been really just working on this. Like I think I've, yeah, on three separate days is what I've been doing there. And um, <laughs> I got to the episode where this uh, girl uses uh, traditional Japanese toys for um, martial arts. So I've been making Otedama. <laughs> this is the fifth one. I have six planned, at least in this set. And I've bought more fabric. I just really... Um... So now I'm, I'm obsessively making Otedama. These are filled with rice. And uh, trying to learn how to shower juggle. I do not have the coordination apparently, but yeah, that is what I've been doing while procrastinating Inktober this week, which is why I don't have that many pieces finished, but uh, I just love it. It's it's really fun. But yeah, I'm gonna get to working on this. I'm probably, I'm gonna try, I'm gonna try and stick in some footage of me sketching for this one, um, like digitally sketching as it is what I've been doing for all my other pieces, uh, for most of my other pieces. Yeah, we'll see wh what happens. Hope you enjoy. Okie doke, I actually managed to record my sketching. It took about 10-15 minutes to do this. You can see my little reference in the background. Um, this was actually my originally intended pose, and I know I said I was going to change it, but I think I managed to get it in pretty well. Her torso turned out probably a little too short for like what Sigma's actual anatomy actual anatomy is like, but I do like the way it looks. It turned out really like loose and cute, so I'm gonna be okay with it, and uh, Sigma's hair is like ideal for scene hair, so I'm just really happy with how it turned out. Let's see, I need all of my style pieces, because uh, as you saw in the footage, I printed out two versions, because I am not sure which direction I want her facing, and she looks so small. Uh, it's gonna have to do. Just because some of them have more comp, 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 what, what was I saying? It's not compromise, it's not comprise, compact, there we go. Because some of them, like Epsilon for example, have more compact poses, and I'm running out of battery, so I'm just gonna fix that before I continue talking. I was going through these to see how many I have facing different directions. So I've been trying to be mindful of that. That one is, well these two, is pretty much straight on. So I think that's what I was going for. So I'm pretty sure I'm gonna go with this one for Sigma, that way I have three of each. Yeah, I'm gonna go with that. This is the thing I've always been very mindful of when I do a series, is that I don't do everyone facing the same direction, because that makes me feel like a noob, like like, it, like I don't know what I'm doing. So this is how I line up my drawings uh, when I print out sketches. See, I kind of want her a li little lower down, like that. Then I just... Did I move it? Maybe. Like that. And then I cut it. Like that. Some tape. Oh, I, I bought new uh, washi tape. Uh, yesterday actually. Of course it's shipping from China so it's gonna take 10 million years for it to get here but I'm so excited because it's mostly from a bullet journal but I just like having cute washi tape. <laughs> oh, 
Oh, don't cut your finger. Usually I have one step in between where I sketch out the outfit too. I am so sure of what she is wearing and it's a very simple outfit that I am not going to be too concerned about sketching it on top of the watercolor paper. I usually don't just because it creates much more of a mess. Well, you can't win them all. I tried recording some of the sketching process for the outfit and uh, the camera died on me. So you get basically the start and then me finishing it off. I just... sad. <laughs> I have two reasons for wearing these. One, there's a window and it's cold. Two, uh, my hand gets stuck on the surface of the table when I draw so I can't do a smooth swiping motion. Uh, so wearing the glove helps with that. So finally we're actually getting to the ink part of Inktober. Uh, it actually went really well inking this. I. I really do need glasses though, like some kind of reading glasses or something, because the amount of squinting I do to be able to see what I'm doing is slightly terrifying at times. Uh, so yeah, that might be something I will have to look into. I chose scene style for uh, Sigma and I think it suits her really well. I think scene clothing would like, it would be her style if she had a specific style scene would definitely be it for her super colorful and cute and as i mentioned before like scene hair is like the best for her uh so inking that went really quickly so i'm already moving on to mercury here and uh, uh i intended to just ink sigma and i was fully set on finishing this one completely because it's the last one in the set and i knew i was going to get like, I was going to be really happy once I finish. So, uh, I just trucked along. I think all in all, I maybe sat for two, two and a half hours painting with some drying time in between. Um, and I like how this one turned out. Uh, I think I could have worked a bit more on her expression because just her one eye looks a little bit small compared to the other. Uh, I'm not sure if I mentioned this, but I've been using sort of their manga designs for color reference, so sort of a black and white aspect, so um, Mercury's hair is dark and it's colored in black, just like Mars's hair, at least in most of the shots I've seen. Uh, that was the thing with Jupiter. I wasn't sure whether I should color her hair in or not because she is this mid-tone. Uh, in the end, I didn't, and I think it looks okay. Um, I wasn't quite sure how to handle the bubbles at first, uh, but I marked them off using uh, one of the ink tens pencils just to make sure I didn't paint over them. And uh, then in the end, I ended up using uh, some of the ink tens to just give a little bit more... Uh, shape and uh, reflection to them. It's a lot of blue. They sort of blend into the background and I tried to darken up the edges on some of them to make them stand out a bit more, but it just... Uh, I felt like I was going to ruin the piece, so I ended up not spending too much time on that. Um, God, there's so little time left, so I have to continue this commentary. Um, I think I only had blue two blue ink tense pencils and then a gray one. Uh, the rest is... well, the rest and the rest. Um, I then used like three colors out of that Prima Marketing palette um, to do the rest. Um, the ribbon and the gem for the ribbon are, are actually the same color. One is just more diluted than the other, and I think it's really cool with the ink tens that you can get such, such, like, different tones from the same pencil. I really like that. It's all about how much you dilute it. Um, yeah, you can see the bubbles, they sort of blend it into the background. Ta-da! Oh, I love how they turned out. They're really cute. I'm so glad I have my first set done. This is so cool. I really like it. 
Oh, uh, God. I think background-wise, Sailor Venus and Moon are my favorite because they just turned out really cute. Just the Venus Love Me chain looks really nice. Character-wise, Jupiter and... Got either Mercury or uh, Mars. Uh, I wish I had spent a bit more time working on the pieces as a whole because there are some inconsistencies. I've, the character's size is pretty good, but the gems are clearly different in size. But I did use Venus as a reference for Mars, which is why those two are similar. And then I freehanded these and didn't really reference Mars and Venus to make them line up more than like size-wise on the paper. So there are some inconsistencies there, but overall I think they fit together really well. Anyway, I'm gonna pick these up and put down Sigma because I did finish Sigma as well. Oh, she turned out so cute. She's kind of tiny. I really like how they turned out. And cute. Really cute. I like it. I like it, like it, like That is like my default. Whenever I say I like something, I default to... What's the song actually? Beautiful Target by B1A4. But yeah, I always default to that one. So yeah, I like it, like it. <clears throat> Thank you so much for watching this. It's probably going to be a mix of voiceover and this kind of talking, so I'm sorry if it's not making much sense. Uh, thank you so much for watching. I will be popping in one more time after Inktober, ha Inktober has ended to show you the remaining pieces I have to finish, <laughs> including this one, um, and uh, share with you what I will be doing with them. All originals are probably going to get sold in some capacity. I'll talk to you more about that later. The camera cut me off. Until next time. Keep on scribbling, friends. Bye!